categories. Yes, a demand for help from victims of domestic violence is really skyrocketing locally. The latest figure is coming into our newsroom from a local group dedicated to helping those victims rebuild their lives. Local 10's Kristen De La Rosa reports on how this nonprofit is trying to keep up with demand. Local 10 News cameras given rare access inside. A hidden place of refuge and this woman's courage to tell her story. That's my goal, that someone will hear and say, I got to get out. She's asked us to call her by her nickname. Share Share says to the outside world, they look like the perfect family. But behind closed doors, it was a different story. I'm sorry. I had abuse of every form and fashion. A relationship of 20 plus years and three children. She says the abuse never stopped. In fact, it got worse and her trauma still so fresh. October of 2020, he came to me with a box cutter and told me that he was going to slit my throat. February 3rd, 2021, when he held me with a knife at my throat, telling me that he was going to kill me. After once again being able to break free and after years of being trapped by fear, she shares what she finally realized when she saw her son's face later that day. What would it really be like if he should come downstairs and see his mom just gone? The mother of three mustered up the courage to call 911. Share Share later arrived at Broward County's Women in Distress. I was able to I breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> With access to shelter, counseling, and legal assistance, it's where she went from victim to survivor. I felt safe. Women, children, and their pets are all welcome here. Men too. We're open to anyone fleeing intimate violence by a partner. Here, survivors are also connected to jobs. It's an empowerment approach. Officials with the nonprofit tell Local 10 News that demand for their services has skyrocketed in the last 12 months by at least 22%. And they hit a sobering record, providing 45,000 nights of safe shelter to domestic violence victims in just the past year. And that's just insane. It's sad. To keep up with the tragic demand, Women in Distress, which runs on grants and donations, is getting creative to raise the money they need. <laughs> Calling on South Florida's best pro ballroom dancers. It's a challenge accepted. They are joining forces for Dancing with the Local Stars. Esther Francis, one of the pros, paired with some familiar faces in South Florida. Artists, community leaders, business owners, and who's that? Did you kind of think it twice? Or how am I doing? You're doing incredible. <laughs> sure, sure. I just can't wait to see you on Saturday. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you how sore I am. <laughs> Dancing with the Local Stars is tomorrow night here at the Lauder Hill Performing Arts Center. <laughs> The best thing about this event, beyond the entertainment, all of the proceeds of this event go to Women in Distress. And if you want to join us, you can get your ticket. Yes, there are still some left. By going to local10.com, we posted the link and all the information you need. I don't want to leave you ladies, though, without stressing what Share Share said in our story. If you're watching and you find yourself in a domestic violence situation, there is help out there. You don't have to do this alone. Back to you. So important. It's such an amazing organization, yeah. and I'm sure you are an amazing dancer well, raising money. First off, Christian, <laughs> you are a Latino. You have been shaking it since birth, okay? I know you can do this, and we're very proud of you. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. It's so important, really. Yep. S such an important cause. It's a pleasure. And hey, we're just going to have fun tomorrow night. <laughs> you enjoy yourself and raise lots of money. Thanks a lot, Christian. <laughs>